My name is Danny Henderson. I'm from Woodencrana and I'm here as manager in St Mary's Hall. And the cinema end this last 26 years, from 1987. Well, the first time I got involved, it was through uh, Marie's uncle, William and Don. I used to give them a, a hand at bingo on a voluntary basis. And then when F Father Carolyn, God rest him, came here, uh, he asked me would I take on management of the hall and to reopen the cinema in 1987, which we did do. And we struggled through up until now, until digital. So it was a long struggle for those 26 years, but we survived it all. My name's Adam Murray Porter. I'm a local photographer and businessman, and I'm the chair of Cinema Inishon here in Bunkrana. Cinema Inishon was set up around six or seven months ago with a plan to save the cinema from closing. The cinema was facing closure for because of the end of analogue cinema, basically film. Uh, at the end of this year, most of the major studios won't be making reels of film anymore, so it was all becoming digital. And all we had in the cinema was an old analogue projector. This week in the cinema is the last 35mm. Possibly not ever, we may be able to use the projector again in the future, but from a major studio, the last main movie will be shown this week. The cinema was closed in 1983 for four years. It just closed because it was there was no turnover and was doing nothing really. It was very quiet at that time. The hall was built in 1904, completed in 1904, at a cost of £1,325. Most of the materials was bought in Ballantines and Derry. It started cinema Travelling cinema, I think it was about 1909, and then it went on to the commercial end of it with silent movies uh, in 1918. And the first uh, soundtrack movie here in the hall was 1931, and that was East of Borneo. It was all about elephants and that type of thing. Obviously it costs money to change over from an analogue to a digital cinema projector. Um, so we contacted local agencies and the councils etc to see was there any funding available. We met together, decided what way we wanted to move forward, what plans we wanted to have and we were very, very lucky in the main funder was Bunkrana Town Council. We went and met them. Obviously going looking for this kind of money is, is a difficult thing. Um, it was quite a lot, it was 65,000. We were looking for 90 because there's, there's an awful lot of things around the projector that we would like to upgrade in the cinema. They thought ours was a worthy cause. You know, the presentation went very well. The move to digital is a necessity um, for the cinema, obviously, because all the films will be digital. I'm the daughter of Danny Henderson, who's been the manager here in the cinema for as far back as I can remember. Um, the, the whole thing about me joining the committee, I suppose, was maybe to help bring it into the digital age and still have some sort of family connection to the place because it's been such a big part of our lives. Daddy indeed was a busy man, like whenever we were kids, you know, he still is to this day. He put his heart and soul into this place, so that's why we've worked so hard. Like, hopefully now, going forward in the future, he'll see it through until he's ready for retirement and then some, some new blood will take over. <laughs>